everyone's pedaling hard, but Andreas Lütke is always just that little bit faster. It's like a Porsche compared to a Ford Fiesta. You get fresh air and it's just cool. He can accelerate from 0 to 25 kilometers an hour in seconds, and that's what gives it away, prompting people to pose the question. It has a battery, right? I say, yeah, there is. The battery is stored in the handlebar bag. It powers the motor in the rear wheel hub. Andreas has an electric bicycle. He got rid of his car a year ago. I switched from car to bike because it's cheaper and more environmentally friendly. I picked the e-bike because I travel a lot to see clients. The e-bike's great because you don't arrive at meetings all sweaty and smelly. The event technician spent 3,000 euros on his e-bike. Another of its special features is that it's collapsible. So no matter where his clients are, Andreas can reach them by bike and train. If necessary, the bike even fits in the trunk of a car. Clients often ask me how I get there so fast. It's because I don't have to look for parking. Anke Uschmann also no longer worries about parking. She switched her family estate car for a family e-bike. We've got two kids and it's just more practical pulling 40 kilos behind you on an e-bike than a normal bike. You can cover greater distances too, when normally you'd have to rely on the car. With her e-bike, distances of 30 kilometers are no longer a problem. The only catch is the battery. It runs out after around 50 kilometers. I imagine that the technology will improve in the coming years, but if you want to take a longer trip, you need to take a second battery, otherwise you won't make it. But that didn't put off 300,000 Germans from buying electric bikes last year. A basic model costs around 1,000 euros. They still require a bit of physical effort, of course. The motor only starts when pressure is exerted on the pedals. There are various systems. Most of them react to motion and pressure on the pedals. A specific pressure equals a specific amount of power, and that gets transferred straight to the chain or the rear wheel. Most e-bikes have 500 watt motors, meaning they can move almost as fast as mopeds. You can adjust the power the motor adds to the power being applied to the pedals. Most electric bike buyers don't actually live in cities. The majority live in hilly regions. Bicycle dealers in the country are happy because they're doing a lot of business. It's a bit slower in urban areas. We need infrastructure for e-bikes. Cities often lack cycle paths, or there's too much traffic, or not enough places to park the bikes safely at night. Germany is Europe's biggest e-bike market, followed by the Netherlands and Switzerland. The bike with the electric motor is booming and could one day be a status symbol. At some point they'll start selling all-terrain e-bikes or ones with sapphire brakes. I'm certain that it'll be a status symbol at some point.